Hello everyone and welcome to episode 39 of the TCC CTC Link Vlog. Over the past 38 episodes I've uh, covered various project activities and, and talked about uh, various aspects of the system. But now I'd like to invite you all to come and explore the new system in our sandbox space. Our sandbox space is a, is a place where you can uh, go and explore the system and, and play with different options um, and start to learn a little bit about um, the system itself and maybe some, uh, some of the modules and tools that you'll use when we go live. Uh, so I really have a couple things I want to cover. One is how to access the system and then the other is some resources that will help you navigate various aspects of the system. So first off, um, the marketing department was kind enough to, uh, to create a bulletin article for the Sandbox. So if you just log into the portal and, and over in the bulletin section, click on the Sandbox link. And this will talk a little bit about the Sandbox. The first link uh, is an introduction video on how to activate your account. And so you'll need to activate your account before you can get into the system. And during that process, you will be given your IMPL ID number, which is your permanent employee ID number from now on. And so you want to make sure you write that down and the password, of course. Uh, you will have to go through this process once again once we go once we go live and enter the production environment. But you'll want to write this and keep this information handy um, for when you want to navigate the, the sandbox environment. The second link is the is actually the link to the environment where you will activate your account first and then actually uh, log in later. Um, and then uh, the last two links are the support resources, access to support resources. So if you run into any issues. Uh, need help with anything, uh, you can either email the support desk or you can click the link here and you can log in with the username and password you set up with the sandbox uh, to create a support ticket. Uh, so the next thing I wanted to show and, and talk a little bit about is the training site. I know I've, mentioned, I've shown this site a few times before, um, but uh, this is where you'll find some quick reference guides and some UPKs that'll help you navigate uh, various aspects of the system. So if you want to learn how to um, enter time, enter your time into your timesheet. You'll find that in the for all employees area under employee self service. Uh, but anyway, you want to go to um, https colon slash slash training dot ctc link dot sbctc dot edu. And once there, just um, if you want to go into the employee section, just click the link and you can either check out a UPK or the quick reference guides. I would recommend starting with the quick reference guides because they're nice little one, two pagers that'll kind of walk you through various aspects of the system. Uh, employee self-service is one thing I just mentioned. Um, and that's where you'll find act, you'll find information about um, you know changing your bio demo data in the system. So if you have to change your name or address, any of that kind of information, setting up your completing your timesheet, managing a direct deposit, emergency contacts, and so forth. So you can access that information there. So anyway, um, I, I hope you all get to take the opportunity to uh, set up your or activate your account in the system and and start exploring. Um, and uh, if you run into issues, definitely create some support tickets. If you have questions uh, for me, uh, feel free to send me an email or give me a call, and I'd be happy to, to answer any of the questions you might have. Um, that's all I have for this episode, and we'll see you next time.